Hey guys, it's Arisa and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making beautiful and delicious holiday themed hot chocolate bombs. holiday spirit today and making three amazing holiday themed hot chocolate bombs. We're going to start with a classic and that is peppermint hot chocolate. So we're going to start with a beautiful marbled chocolate shell. We're going to use white chocolate and red candy melts and I'm just going to melt those down and then drizzle my red candy melts into the white chocolate and then we're just going to swirl that together and pour it straight into the mold. Now you don't want the colors to blend together too much, so I'm just swirling it around to get an even coating, and then pouring out the excess and letting it sit upside down. I'm kind of speeding through this part here because I posted a full tutorial on how to make hot chocolate bombs last week. I will put that on the screen here as well as in the description below. And then I'm just melting down the edges to get them nice and smooth. Okay, now let's get to the filling of the bomb. We're gonna do a white and dark chocolate ganache because I think that pairs beautifully with peppermint. So I'm gonna show you how I made my white ganache. I made a dark one in my last video, so you can go check that out, but they're made pretty much the same way. So I'm just starting with some Calibo white chocolate. Any good quality chocolate will work for this. And we're going to weigh that out and add just a little bit less of the amount of whipping cream. So I had 4.3 ounces of white chocolate, I'm gonna add four ounces of cream, pour it over our chocolate, give it a stir, and that's it. And of course, it wouldn't be a peppermint hot chocolate bomb without some candy canes. So I'm just going to crush up some candy canes. This is a great way to get out all of your aggressions. Okay, now for the fun part, let's fill the chocolate bomb. So I'm adding about a tablespoon of dark chocolate ganache, and then about half a tablespoon of white ganache, and we're gonna add some cocoa powder to that, and then some candy canes, of course, and a whole bunch of mini marshmallows. Then we're just going to melt down the other side of the bomb and close it up. And we have a beautiful, festive, peppermint hot chocolate bomb. Okay, so the next one is going to be an eggnog hot chocolate bomb, and we're going to turn it into a beautiful golden ornament. So I'm starting with some gold luster dust. This is the brand Sweet Sticks. I had a lot of people asking me on my last video. And I'm just gonna take a dry paintbrush and generously coat my molds in this beautiful gold powder. And look how beautiful and shiny that turns out. I love gold luster dust. dark chocolate this time to make my shells. And you just want to be very gentle when smoothing out your chocolate because we don't want to displace any of the gold dust. popping them out. And because we use dark chocolate, we are getting a darker gold effect. If you were to use a white chocolate, it would be very bright and shiny, but both look really pretty. And once again, just smoothing out the edges. And now we have to make the top of the ornament. So I'm just taking this ice cube tray. It's the closest shape to what I'm looking for that I had. And I'm gonna fill that with some white chocolate let it set and then pop it out and then I'm just going to melt it down into the shape of that little top piece on an ornament. And then I'm also going to take some dark chocolate and pipe a little loop that goes right on top of the ornament. Now for the filling we're going to make a thick eggnog which is basically just a spiced custard. So I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of milk and then a quarter cup of whipping cream. And then I'm gonna need two egg yolks. This is gonna make a really small batch of custard. So if you love custard, I highly recommend doubling it. 
and I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. You can add more or less depending on how much you like. And then while that is coming up to a simmer on the stove, I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of sugar into my egg yolks and just whisk that together. Then we're gonna take that hot cream and slowly pour it into the egg mixture, making sure you're whisking constantly so that we don't make scrambled eggs. And once that's all incorporated, you can go ahead and put that back in the pot over a very low heat and just stir it constantly until it starts to thicken. And then you wanna put some plastic wrap directly on the surface of the custard while it cools so that you don't get a skin forming on top. And now let's turn all of these little components into a beautiful ornament. So I'm starting with a generous tablespoon of custard and then about half a tablespoon of dark chocolate ganache and half a teaspoon of cocoa powder and we're gonna seal that up. Then I'm just brushing some gold luster dust onto the loop we made. And then I'm just using a hot knife to create a little spot for the loop inside the white chocolate piece. And then I'm just melting down the bottom of the white chocolate so that it will stick onto the chocolate bomb. And it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, last but not least, I think I am most excited about this flavor. We're doing a toasted marshmallow white chocolate mocha. So good. So for this one, we're just gonna start off with a plain white chocolate shell, but don't worry, we're gonna jazz it up at the end. And you guys should be experts on how to make these by now, so we're just gonna speed through that. is really fun. We're going to give the marshmallows a nice toasty flavor by broiling them in the oven. So I'm just going to make a nice square of marshmallows on a baking sheet and I'm putting that in a 475 degree oven on broil and I love watching them pop up and get all toasty. And once again, let's fill up our hot chocolate bomb. So I'm starting with some white ganache because we are going for a white mocha flavor here. And then adding a full teaspoon of instant espresso powder. And then I'm just scraping up some of those marshmallows and placing them on top. This part does get a little sticky and messy. Then we're going to close up the bomb and add a drizzle on top. I just mixed some instant espresso powder right into white chocolate and use that. And there we have the finished toasted marshmallow white mocha bomb. So we have our three beautiful holiday hot chocolate bombs. Don't go away yet, it's time for the best part. We're gonna drop them in some milk and see how they turn out. So we're gonna do all three together because we don't need to watch this three separate times. And I'm just taking some hot milk, dropping in my bomb. And we have three delicious holiday inspired drinks. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite or which one you're planning to make. I love reading your comments. And yeah, as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or what you wanna see next, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.